Well, believe it or not, we're back in the Memorial Park yet again. Uh, having a wander around at the end of the day, we've had a traumatic time in the supermarket. Um, and you ask, what happened? Well, what happened is we went to the supermarket. Uh, so that makes it a traumatic time. However, um, and this is where they used to tie the, on a different note, tie the barrage blowns to these during the last war, these great big blocks. And they used to tie them to that and up they'd go in the air uh, to try and stop the planes coming towards Coventry, I presume. So, yes, so that was, uh, that was just our traumatic experience this morning. So nothing unduly serious, but there we are. And of course, the most important thing, and of course, we do need a positive aspect on shopping. I managed to get my spiced rum. And uh, I say mine, we both like this, in our coffee. It adds a certain je ne sais quoi. I'm getting into saying that, I've got no idea why. It adds a certain something. Lovely willow tree here, hanging on to its uh, last few leaves. And a train going along off to Leamington, Leamington Spa, I don't know if you can see it. And that beautiful shape of that dead tree over there. It's fabulous, isn't it? Quite a long train. Oh, I think it's uh, freight. It's a freight one, isn't it? Hello, Blackie. Look, Blackie with some white on. Hello. Yeah, you got some white spots. What, are you having worms for dinner again? All right, all right. Uh, he didn't like me casting aspersions about his worms. What are you? What are you thinking of? Worms? That's where it's all at. Yeah, I just love the way that uh, skeletal tree over there is lit up by the after, late afternoon sun. Um. Yeah, we've been around here. I mean, if you look back and see what um, uh, the different times of the year bring, because I'll have been around here in summer and spring and all sorts, and you'll see how the buds start to come out and then the flowers come out and, and, and. And now we've got all these trees and almost all of them have lost their leaves now. And the greenery here by this uh, little stream has all gone brown and this wonderful uh, horse chestnut tree which is just along here uh, which I went under before and you saw all the the conkers as we call them the, the seeds out on the ground and now of course none of them have any leaves at all but some of these birch do hang on to their leaves almost until the next season you can see this brown one here they hang on to those and they don't get rid of them right until late. Look at that lovely carpet underneath that uh, horse chestnut tree. Yeah, that's hung on to those leaves for, for quite a long while. We've got a wild cherry tree in our garden and it's finally lost its last few leaves. Lovely view across the park there. So beautiful. Hello, I can hear my wife laughing. You shouldn't be laughing without a permit. Come on, we've got Boris in charge. You don't even, you know, we need to uh, make it illegal to laugh. No laughing matter, is it? Look at that beautiful tree. Look at that. Well, set of trees. I think I've commented on those before when they were all coming into leaf. Um, but how beautiful. We're now getting, I'm getting my long shadow now again. Ah, puffing a bit. We're going up quite a little hill here. Oh. So, now we're coming to where the pitch and put is, but uh, of course there's nobody playing this time of year. It, uh, I love these little way they've got little groups of these trees. Another one over there, another one over there. They're obviously planted with purpose. I don't know the history of the... Hello, it's a doggy with a stripe on it. Yes, 
you can see there's a lot of up and downs here. Oh, they've got the flags out. So somebody could be playing, but I wouldn't have thought they'd let people onto this grass. Look, it's really soggy, look. I couldn't, couldn't see them letting people onto the grass. Somebody out there taking a picture of the grass. And to be honest, there are often some really nice pictures to be had. I turn round, I can think somebody's trying to do a contra jour shot into the sun. I think it's very good. I think I may... Uh, Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a little walk a little further, and then we'll um, we'll call it a day. I should be saying thank you very much if you're still watching. Thank you very much for watching, and special thank you to all those who've subscribed already. And um, this is the Rambling Rambler in War Memorial Park in Coventry, United Kingdom. Uh, Dave to his friends, that is. So. The sun is still in this top of the park here. And where's my lady? That's my lady. I suppose I should sort of, pre not pretend exactly, but I suppose should really be with her. But as a, as a vlogger, she's sort of used to it. And I still remember when we were in, in uh, uh, Mannheim, we went out with a couple of um, Filipino friends and uh, the three of us were blogging around this castle grounds and Irene was there watching it all happening. So we, we were all having a great time filming and chatted online and uh, poor Irene had to watch it all going on. She puts up with a lot, doesn't she? You're not supposed to agree, by the way. There, look at that lovely park. I've got where I've got to stand here right I'll turn around I've got to have a photo okay two crows out there under the tree I don't know if you can see them I've got to the habit now where I will put this video up today uh, onto YouTube but what I won't do is publish it until tomorrow because it takes quite a long while to get the standard version done up to the ultra high definition which is what I film in so that's uh, that's how it all works now I don't know if she's um, watching, but happy birthday to Karen in Australia. This is Monday, Monday the 7th, I believe. And so I think we'll stop here and have a look around where we are. That lovely long, long shadow. Look round to the black skies over there and to the sun. So bye for now from the Rambly Rambler Dave to his friends in War Memorial Park in Coventry, United Kingdom. Bye.